Countdown to liftoff. Boeing Starliner is hoping for a successful launch in a little more than 24 hours. Tomorrow's launch to the International Space Station is set for 1.20 in the afternoon. It was supposed to go up to the ISS on Friday, but it was scrubbed because the Russian space module that arrived on Thursday briefly rocketed the ISS out of its orbit. And they are hoping the weather will be clear for tomorrow's launch as well. Yeah, this is a big step for the company, but as Fox 35's Alina Shirazi shows us, there's a lot of precious cargo on board too. A few delays with the Starliner rollout last week and then another after issues at the International Space Station. Now Boeing is ready for its second chance at its orbital flight test. Three, two, one and lift off. Starliner will take up more than 550 pounds of NASA cargo and crew supplies. And if all goes well with their mission this time, it could pave the way for more scientific research that could help us back here on Earth. But to date, we've done over 3,000 experiments on the International Space Station, and the research community is very much looking forward to bringing um, on another commercial crew provider. NASA's deputy chief scientist says the commercial crew program at NASA is reaching its goal to create more opportunities and more vehicles in space. The commercial crew program not only means more crew members and more cargo, uh, which means more science, um, but it also really enabled an infrastructure um, to not only get crew back more quickly, but also our science samples more quickly. Experiments that could be on Boeing's future flights. Absolutely, Boeing could be earmarked to, to take hardware up. Uh, even on this flight, there's uh, certain hardware that they're taking up or bringing back. SpaceX's next cargo launch later this month will deliver a variety of science investigations, including a study on preventing and treating bone density loss, testing devices that detect and prevent vision disorders, and even a new robotic arm that could reveal potential uses on Earth. This gets the research in the hands of researchers um, in a matter of hours now and really opens up what we're able to study. On the Space Coast, Alina Shirazi, Fox 35 News.